In sacrifice, there is no mileage. You just did it. Period. You did it for a purpose. You did it for that purpose and I am happy that I did it. We learn about life through questions. How do we tame this mind? Is that person more equipped? How does one know that now this is going beyond my control? How much of a role does education play? What causes this lack of concentration? To answer some of these, Mr. Praveen Mankar, founder of Pratibhim Charitable Trust, brings to you Face to Face. This week, we are talking about sacrifice. The focus is always on what I want. We are unwilling to sacrifice anything for anyone for the sake of our own comfort. Today, we'll understand what is sacrifice and why is it so important. So, sir, what do you mean by sacrificing something? In simple language, sacrificing is giving up. Mm -hmm. Then why is sacrifice so important? Why should I give up something? Why should you give up something is very valid a question. Why should you give up? Why does a mother give up her sleep, her food for the sake of children? Love, affection. There you are. Sacrifice can only happen out of love. Sacrifice can only happen out of a sense of duty. Mm -hmm. A mother has a sense of duty. Mm -hmm. That my child, I must give all possible facilities for my child to grow up well. And therefore the mother sacrifices. A citizen sacrifices his life for his motherland, mm -hmm. for his country. Sense of duty. Mm -hmm. So there is a purpose behind sacrifice. Without a purpose, a sacrifice doesn't happen. So the purpose, okay, we spoke about love and the affection here, but in other cases, what is the benefit of sacrificing? I mean, I don't want to sacrifice. This is... Don't sacrifice. No. Nobody forces you to sacrifice. But what is the benefit if I give up something? Benefit is situational. How? I sacrifice a job offer. Mm -hmm. So that my friend gets the same job. My friend needs that job more than I need because he doesn't have any source of income. Mm -hmm. At least I have my current job. Mm -hmm. So I sacrifice a possible promotion increment mm -hmm. for the sake of my friend. It gives me satisfaction mm -hmm. that I have helped my friend sustain in life. Mm -hmm. So the benefit is situational. Mm -hmm. It's how you perceive what is your benefit. Why should you sacrifice? I sacrifice because this is what I want. Sometimes it is notional. It is only mental satisfaction. There is no tangible benefit. So it is situational. I mean, you can't dictate to somebody that you sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Can love exist without sacrifice? Sure. There is no need to sacrifice. I have everything in abundance. Everybody has everything in abundance and we love each other. Where is the need to sacrifice? Mm -hmm. So when do you know I should make a sacrifice? Do you... It's not an intellectual subject. It's an emotional subject. The minute you start intellectualizing sacrifice, you are doing it for the sake of show. You don't feel it. You should feel like sacrificing. If when you start answering questions like when should I sacrifice, where should I sacrifice, who should I sacrifice, yeah. all these questions arise in the conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Conscious mind is not the seat of emotions. Conscious mind is the seat of reasoning, calculations, decision making. You should feel it. The common man understands head versus heart. Yeah. If you are taking a decision by the head, there is no heart in it. Mm -hmm. So There is no sacrifice. Sacrifice is done with the heart. Mm -hmm. I sacrifice something I wanted so that somebody else benefits. But this is how we usually are, right? Um, we analyze the pros and cons of the situation and then you say, okay, this is what I should do. That's why, why are you stuck on this subject of sacrifice? What's the, what's the genesis of this subject? Because we focus on, I focus on my own comfort. Right? Okay. And... Sometimes in, in a family when you're living, one person wants something, maybe you want something else. Mm -hmm. But you don't always get it your way. Right. Somebody always wins. Right. You could be that person or you'll be willing to let go and make other people happy. Right. 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 So the importance of sacrifice in a family is not there. Okay. Because Since you brought up your subject I... about yourself and let's see, 
you have a sister let's mm -hmm. imagine you have a sister mm -hmm. and you want a particular dress and your sister wants the same dress mm -hmm. right but at the moment your parents can afford only one dress okay. the economic condition is such that your parents can say either you have it or she has it mm -hmm. no no i want it you can buy her later on is yeah. one approach mm -hmm. the other approach is okay let her have it i will wait for my turn mm -hmm. so you have sacrificed your desire mm -hmm. to own a new dress so that your sister gets the new dress okay do you feel good about it uh it depends uh -huh. so if you don't How badly did i want if that? you don't <laughs> feel good about it then it is not a sacrifice then it is a compulsion माँ को बुरा लगा इसलिए मैंने वो एग्री किया पिताजी ने डांटा इसलिए मैंने एग्री किया दैट मीन्स यू डोंट फील लाइक लेटिंग योर सिस्टर हैव द ड्रेस यू वॉन्टेड इट बैडली एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव इट इट्स 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 अ रिलेक्टेंट कॉम्प्रोमाइज इट्स अ रिलेक्टेंट कॉम्प्रोमाइज इट्स नॉट अ हैप्पी कॉम्प्रोमाइज मेनी पीपल कॉम्प्रोमाइज हैप्पीली हाँ तू थोड़ा ले मैं थोड़ा लेता हूँ इट्स अ हैप्पी कॉम्प्रोमाइज आई एम आई एम एक्सेप्टिंग दैट दैट यू विल बेनिफिट सम आई विल बेनिफिट सम Win-win mm -hmm. win situation, mm -hmm. but here you are forced to compromise. It's not a happy compromise. That's not a sacrifice. Sacrifice is you feel happy about. Okay, let my sister have it. I will wait my turn, and I don't feel bad about it. That mm -hmm. is a happy sacrifice. So okay, so, so you you're saying sacrifice should give you happiness. It's yes. not actually giving uh, up uh, something. Uh, you're not giving up anything. No. What do you give up? What can you give up? Nothing belongs to you. Your even your body doesn't belong to you. What can you give up? What are you giving up? It's a notion that you are giving up something. Yes. And for that notion, you are holding on. You are holding on to emptiness. But whenever we take decision, you know, we say, "I'm sacrificing my time for you. I'm sacrificing my money ah, for you." That is self-glorification. You, know, you are you are glorifying yourself. You are not actually doing anything. When you do things for somebody, you don't say it. You do it silently. you go to a temple for somebody's good health and you come and tell the person i went to the temple to pray for you the whole subject is defeated yeah. you really pray for that somebody's health you do it quietly you don't have to beat your own drum so sacrifice you saying is unconditional has Absolutely. no terms Absolutely. the whole word <laughs> word sacrifice means i am giving without expectation that's sacrifice yeah but it's also you right like you rightly said when i sacrifice something i want to express it to the world and say this is what i do why should you you know you want so, recognition so that you are you are taking a price for your sacrifice then it's not a sacrifice it's a barter yeah it's a trade you traded what you wanted for a recognition from people around you okay then it's not a sacrifice i sacrificed it doesn't matter whether people know about it people don't know about it people appreciate it people don't appreciate it it's okay i did it for my joy and i got joy in doing that sacrifice that is sacrifice okay i sacrificed my life for the country yes i didn't want my statue to be erected that was not mm -hmm. behind my mind when i did that sacrifice mm -hmm. look at bhagat singh if when when he sacrificed his life for the country mm -hmm. did he ever think that he will be considered as a freedom fighter and a hero no yeah. at that point of time that must be the last thought on his mind if at all that thought were were to exist mm -hmm. he had a purpose my country should be free if it means my life is gone so be it mm. how many people recognize me how many people acknowledge me is not my concern my concern is my purpose mm -hmm. and that purpose gives me joy so whatever you sacrifice does it have a purpose and does it give you joy these are the only two important questions to answer in a sacrifice nothing else matters it's very true i think this word has a lot of misnomer attached to it nobody understands what is sacrifice uh, my parents also keep giving examples right i sacrifice my childhood to do something else mm -hmm. you know they give mm -hmm. up a lot of things they call it sacrifice uh, you are compelled to do things is not sacrifice you do it voluntarily that is sacrifice in partition indians were compelled to leave their homeland and come to migrate to india you simply were forced to do certain things that's not sacrifice sacrifice is a voluntary activity 
no terms and conditions and it should give you joy you should get joy out of it was the joy in the partition there was no joy people reluctantly came crying beating their mm -hmm. chests losing everything where is the sacrifice in that mm -hmm. sacrifice has an, has an element of purpose sacrifice has an element of joy if you really want to define sacrifice mm -hmm. there is a purpose behind my action and there is a joy i derive out of that action absolutely that's very nicely put what do you mean by sacrifice mm -hmm. so in order for a person to sacrifice because not everybody is able to do it or willing to do it yeah you need to have certain traits to sacrifice something so what is that you know to reach that stage that you do something without expecting anything in return how do you that's very simple just learn give and take just learn give law of giving when you accept that giving is a law then sacrifice is not difficult once you accept giving is part and parcel of living giving is part and parcel of living mm -hmm. once you understand this sacrifice is not difficult then there are degrees of sacrifice the ultimate being you sacrifice your life for somebody mm. yes mm. yeah i mean people devote their entire life yeah to something mm -hmm. that's a sacrifice and they get joy out of it they don't mope around oh i had to give up my studies so that my brother could study and then you go on through life with a long face otherwise i would have been a doctor but because i had to work to finance my brother's studies i had to give up my ambition then you have not sacrificed you you were compelled to do and you are taking mileage out of it in sacrifice there is no mileage you just did it period you did it for a purpose your brother wanted to be educated you did it for that purpose and i am happy that i did it finished i don't have to go and claim that i yes. don't need accolades for that i don't need recognition for that mm -hmm. i just did it okay so the first step to make a sacrifice is start giving yes absolutely learn to give mm -hmm. why, why are you doing it you are doing it because you are achieving a purpose and you are deriving joy out of that purpose therefore you are sacrificing Okay. Sacrificing is giving up something for the greater good. It's a way of life. You have to start by giving. So the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice for? If you have some questions about life, please connect with us. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for weekly updates.